Hey guys, how you doing? Lewis here with another video. What I wanted to share with you today is the concept of trusting your teacher. So I'm really excited. I came home um, right now from jujitsu class. You know, I've been doing martial arts my whole life. Right now I'm studying jujitsu. And today I got my second stripe. Really cool. Check it out. Oh. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, a stripe is given to you when you when the instructor, uh, your master, uh, sees fit, and essentially it signifies a point of progression within the belt that you are in. So you can be a white belt, and it depends on the school, uh, and most of the time, just the school it could be different or the same martial art or whatever it is, but. Uh, it depends on really the teacher and the rules that they have set uh, in their school. Essentially, you have a belt, you could be white, um, blue, brown, whatever it may be, and then you could have stripes signifying the different levels of that belt, so you slowly go higher. Um, and it's just nice. It's not really, doesn't mean that you're not progressing if you don't get any kind of stripes. But it's just, it's nice to see that the teacher or the instructor, that somebody's looking at you and somebody recognizes your, prog your progression. And that's very cool. Now, what I wanted to share with you guys today is interesting that um, for today I got my second stripe <clears throat> at my jujitsu school. And um, I got my first stripe um, about a month and a half ago or two months or so. Meanwhile, it took me during my first for, to get my first stripe about four months in or five months in. And for some people it took shorter, um, like three months, three to four months or, or even maybe just the two month mark or so. And I thought about this. Me, I'm really used to this uh, kind of notion that I'm already, that I'm about to go over in terms of patience and things like that. But I found it super interesting that when I received it today, my second stripe, Again, I thought it was a really short time to get my second one after my first one. I thought it might have been a mistake. And the second that my master called my name saying, Lewis, you should come to the front. And thought to myself for a second, like, that, that's a mistake. It's definitely somebody else, another Lewis around here. But there was no other Lewis. Um, and it wasn't, and it was for me. And so I got up and, of course, went there really quick, respectfully received it. And, you know, and thanked him very much and thanked the class very much. And, and it's, and it's very cool. So, um, I'm really excited for it. It's great. It's always great to have that kind of, uh, recognition. And like I was saying before, stripes kind of depend on the school and the reason why you're giving the stripe, the reason why you're giving, given that kind of recognition usually falls in line with a few things. One thing is consistency. If you're consistently going to classes, if you're consistently showing that you're putting in a certain amount of work. Uh, the second thing, if you're putting in, let's say, practice on your own, if the instructors and the masters, because just like anything, if you have a personal trainer or something like that, uh, if you have a teacher at anything, if you're being taught anything, the teacher can know really if you're practicing on your own, if you're doing some things on your own, if you're practicing five minutes, or, or 30 minutes or an hour on your own here and there they could see the difference in between the classes like when you come back to class so uh, for that also the way that you actually ask questions or you interact with the masters or the instructors before class after class how to actually get better at, at your craft things of that nature um, those are usually in line with the reason why people would get a stripe or the kind of mini promotion uh, within a martial arts school now, for me, even though in, in a good amount of ways, since I've been studying martial arts my whole life, I'm pretty experienced in several different facets of, you know, the methodology and the mentality um, and the hard work that's necessary or kind of mindset necessary for martial arts. For this specific time, and really what I wanted to share with you guys, is that, like I said, I didn't know if I deserved to get the second stripe, even though, without ego, I fulfilled those prerequisites I said. I would come in consistently to different classes throughout the week. Other people may not come in as many times as I do. Uh, I would practice on my own a little bit here and there. Now I feel like definitely I need to practice even more. Um, and, you know, I would ask questions and things of that nature. I would be engaged. Um, but I really didn't know if I felt like I deserved it. 
even though I know I put in hard work. And it comes to the subject of, of the video right now, is that um, what you need to do is, if you're not fully confident with, if you think something is being done right or correctly in, let's say, your place of work or whatever you're studying, you need to be able to trust the person you left in charge, you know? You need to be able to trust your teacher, your trainer, your personal trainer, your mentor. You need to trust the process of what's going on. You need to be able to trust and kind of leave it in their hands, so to speak. Because if you're learning from them, or if you're learning from an experience, or if you're learning just whatever from the process, you need to be able to understand and accept that you're learning from something or someone that has more experience than you. So you need to be thankful, essentially, that if, let's say, in my situation that I was given a kind of, you could say, kind of um, a part of a promotion within my school, or even if you were pr given a promotion, let's say, at work or anywhere else, that you should be thankful for that. And if you think that you don't deserve it, or if you don't think that you actually should have gotten it or anything of that nature, you should kind of knock that out of your head and recognize that the person who is more knowledgeable than you, or the person who is in charge, or the person who you were trying to um, be like, um, gave you the respect and acknowledgement that you should be pu pushed to a certain level. So if they think that you actually deserve a kind of promotion, or if they give you the ability to kind of grow, then you should just take that and you should, if you don't feel like you've, you've deserved it, you should put in enough work in the back end to make sure you do deserve it. And that's really it. But but that's what you should do. You should always, always trust your mentors and always trust your teachers because they know more than you. And that's why they're your teachers. Essentially, a lot of people, you don't, you, you don't want to hear uh, the stuff that your mentors have to say sometimes. You know, sometimes you don't want to hear what your teachers have to say and sometimes you think it's dumb. Honestly, take your parents, for example. Parents are your teachers and mentors for several different facets of your life. So how many times does it happen when you go and your parent says something and you think it's really stupid, it's like really dumb and ridiculous, and what you do is you go to your friend's house or you go to your friend or you go to your other colleague or you go to your other coworker and you go to their parents or somebody else and they tell you the same exact thing and it's the same exact advice and you're like, hmm, that makes sense. And okay, that, that's, that's just human nature. But essentially, sometimes your parents are right. Essentially, right? And sometimes your teachers are right. Sometimes your mentors are right, even if it seems like it's not right. Even though, even if it seems that it's weird. You know, think Karate Kid, the same thing. Karate Kid 1, legendary movie of the 80s. Essentially, if you have a teacher that's telling you to do things and you might not understand why and start complaining, like, oh, this is weird, I don't get it, and this falls for anything, but essentially the teacher is more knowledgeable and is telling you to do it, so just do it. Just do it and start comprehending what the perspective is that is coming from the teacher. You know, that's, that's what you need to do. And so that's, that's what I, that's what I got for you today. Um, always trust your teachers and always take their perspective. Um, the people who are teachers in your life or mentors in your life or people who are uh, just more knowledgeable that are spending the time to give you influence and giving you education or giving you kind of chance or whatnot, you need to be able to respect their, um, their decisions. Um, that they make f uh, on you or for you or with you and really try to take away the perspective and their knowledge at the same time as to why they make the decisions that uh, they make. Then a lot of things will be more clear and it will also, also push you further in experience faster with whatever you're trying to do. Cool. All right, guys. So enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.